Using the graphing calculator, everything you need, nothing you don't. When I began teaching several years ago, it was this calculator on the left, the TI-83 Plus, that was the standard for the vast majority of high schools in the United States, and it became my close technological acquaintance. And later its cloned but more powerful successors, the TI-84 Plus and the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. I came to appreciate the power of this calculator, particularly its ability to offer the user different representations of functions, algebraic with an equation, also a numeric representation shown by a table here, and finally with a graphical representation. These three views are the same function. I saw the power of understanding available from the interchangeability of these three views of representations, and that is highly facilitated by the graphing calculator. Over the succeeding years, I made it a point to get to all the training I could. I joined a user's group sponsored by my school district. I went to seminars, and I went to state math teacher conferences and attended every beginning and intermediate level session I could find. About three years ago, there was a woman I worked with, Sarah, who was working on her secondary math teaching certification. She wanted some tips about using graphing calculator before taking her certification exam. Some of my colleagues recommended that she go to me for some help. I sat down with Sarah for about 45 minutes during which we went over evaluating functions, regressions, solving systems of equations, and some other operations of algebra that the calculator can make very easy. Sarah passed the test on her first try and gave me credit for making it possible because of my instruction. The next year, another teacher, Teresa, was taking the same test and asked me for help. I helped her, and like Sarah, she told me that my instruction made it possible. This test is one that only 16% pass on the first attempt. Over the past four years, I have administered the PSAT exam in October, and while giving the test, I have worked the problems out in the scheduled time frame and found that I was able to get 100% of the questions correct. My strategy? Use the graphing calculator to work out many of the problems very quickly, leaving me enough time to work on the real stumpers, the ones where trial and error methods and other more time-consuming methods are needed. I created many lessons that include what I shared with Sarah and Teresa and a lot more, starting from basics, even just turning on the calculator, all the way to intermediate level algebra applications. I placed 24 lessons into a 2 DVD set. Here is the listing of the lessons in the set. These first 8 lessons show basic familiarity of the function keys at the top of the keypad. There is an important 4 lesson series called Test Taking Tricks created to help test takers get as many correct answers as possible by checking answers. It's easy to forget things, plus it's easy to make mistakes, and the techniques with examples can help a lot. There are two lessons on solving systems of equations. Very helpful. Here are some comments of some of my customers. These comments are the beginning of positive reviews that continue to grow in number. Most of these lessons are 8 to 10 minutes and can be viewed on a television with a standard DVD player or on a computer. This product is available on my website for a very reasonable price. You can go directly to the ordering page by entering www.gdogenterprises.com slash products.html. There is a direct link to it in the description box below. This has been Using the Graphing Calculator. Everything you need, nothing you don't. Thanks for viewing.